Well, everybody loves dogs, you guys, uh, and it's no different, it turns out, for clone dogs. Now, the dog I'm sitting here with isn't actually cloned. She's just cute, and we thought, well, you might like looking at her. But we did have two clone dogs stop through our studio today, and we got some answers about the science behind it all. Uh-oh. Help me. After an accident years ago, Davis Hahn got a service dog named Booster, who became a crucial part of his life. When he learned Booster had cancer and might not live much longer, he was devastated. I was facing massive depression with my dog facing death. But Han heard about new cloning technology in Seoul, South Korea. So he flew out to learn more and eventually agreed to have Booster cloned. What they did is they took the egg from the female and they took out all of her DNA. It's usually 50-50. The mother's DNA is in the egg. The father fertilizes the egg, so it's 50-50. They take the egg and they take out the mother's DNA. Now it's an empty egg. And they take 100% of the donor DNA, whether a male or female dog, and put it in the egg. And then they put the egg in the oven and then the puppies are born. And instead of one exact clone of Booster, the surrogate gave birth to two. The father's name was Booster. He stole a toy from PetSmart. He was a thief. He was a booster. But I boosted his cells, sent him to Korea, and I get busted for it. Boosted and busted. Now Han couldn't imagine his life without his service dogs boosted and busted. He says the three-year-olds look identical to their father, but they picked up more than just his good looks. And it's a little deeper than that because some of the memory comes through in the cloning process. They started performing tasks that they were never trained to do. They can open car doors and refrigerators to fetch anything their owner might need. And we're not making this up. We've got proof. Bring me some water. Bring it. Yep, good puppy! And if you were wondering if Han has plans to eventually clone Boosted and Bust It, find your leash, get it, bring it, your dog on right. Cloning is very pure. It's simply a photocopy. And people say you're playing God. Uh-uh. I like what God gave me so much. It saved my life. I just want another. Uh, and this is actually becoming a trend. Several celebrities have gotten their dogs cloned. Now, again, the dog sitting with me here right now is not a clone. This actually belongs to our producer, Sarah, uh, who's in the back running the show right now. But, you know, if she did want to get Lucy cloned, it would cost anywhere from fifty to $100,000. Uh, could probably buy several dogs with that amount of money. I'm reporting live. Gabby Hart, 